Before this video begin, I want to shout out to my friend Shannon, aka Shamasan. Y'all need to go check her out on her YouTube. Man, she's a she's an awesome person, bro. I've been talking to her this past week, and honestly, she probably know more about anime than me, or or probably even you. I mean, bro, she's just an awesome person to talk to. So. I recommend going to check out our YouTube. Her YouTube page will be linked in my description below, so go check her out. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's get it. Oh yeah, still got the new intro. I gotta listen to this again. It's great to see these characters we haven't seen in like episodes, like like Zoro and. Usopp and all them. Like I can't wait for to get them characters back. Oh yeah, they they foreshadowed a carrots um new transformation. They foreshadowed that too. Okay. Me this is watching the second time I'm seeing stuff that I forgot. This right here, bro, will never get old to me. That looks so dope. They'll never get old right there. Luffy fights back. The invincible Katakuri's weak point. Exactly what I wanted to hear. Time for some payback, Katakuri. Like, yeah. Give me that real cage. Mmm, bitch. Too bad he blocked this shit. I think I still see a little blood right there. Like, it hurt it. Yeah. You got a little keep back to it. <laughs> oh, damn. Katakuri's still flying. He's like, nah, he powerful? There are two prominent types of hiking. Observation. I was telling y'all about this last, uh, my last. This hockey of the color of arms is against devil fruit power users. Like Logia, like people that you can't touch. Yeah. Kai Kirfin, get this shit smacked. He giving them niggas number straight pressure. I'm talking about a pressure. Yeah. What's up? Damn, if I caught a career, I'd say hold the fuck up. This shit ain't right. You're 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 main character, aren't you? You can't be putting your hands on me like this. <laughs> yup, you better go back to using your observation. Ooh. That's blue. When he get to bring them animals out, it's old with Leo Bazooka. <laughs> Kai Curry like, what the fuck? What is this pressure? The spirit pressure is it's too much. <laughs> oh my god. I'm having a blast with this. Ooh. Tap out. Bop. That motherfucker zigzagging towards your ass. Kai Curry like this Negan, he's figuring me out. And he's sending Kyle Curry just flying, bro. Oh hell no, I gotta call this shit out right there. Hell no, I don't care how strong you is. You ain't you ain't defined gravity like that, my nigga. <laughs> this nigga is on like, bro. You see how tall Kyle Curry is? All this right here is supposed to be on the ground. Like my nigga, no, no. I don't care how, what kind of cowboy boots you got on. Fuck that. My boy fucking matrix and all the way to the ground. He was applying pressure. He applying pressure. This nigga like, can I just take a break real quick? Lord. <laughs> you ain't stopped hitting me yet. That's how Luke was feeling two, two episodes ago. You were bopping his ass. Oh, is that back gonna touch the flow though? Is that back gonna touch the flow though? Yeah, who's never once been on his back. My brother used his head. He like it broke his neck trying to stop that from happening. I was gonna say, bro, like, Kai Curry ain't no punching bag now. You can put your hands on him. I never know how Luffy does that. I never know. See, he started back using his observation hockey. Just to let people know right quick. Let me go and explain. See, he traded again. See, now he's not using his arming his hockey but he's not using black mochi so he switched back to observation hockey that's why luffy can't hit him right now see he sees it before it happens so he uses like he's gonna show you right now i don't know why i keep talking yeah you just lost your cool a little bit
Exactly. You gotta be calm to use it. I'm not gonna lie now. Katakuri is still strong. Oh. Wow. I didn't even notice he could do that. That's fucked up. Alright. Well. I don't know if you can dodge it, Luffy, but you need to. Because that shit, like, it's gonna hurt. Let's block Mochi, my nigga. Do we get filler? Please don't give us filler. Please don't. Oh! Hmm. Okay. Come on, Luffy, dodge it. Damn, that's a big ass fist, bro. Yeah, he not dodging it. Well, it was it was fun while it lasted. Luffy got him a few good licks in. He bounced man though. <laughs> Bro, unconscious bouncing. <laughs> Luffy fucked up. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I knew I knew it was coming eventually. I should have known. We going back to what? Um, Sanji and him. Oh, that's old girl's dad. I forgot what that man name was. Let's see more pudding spasms and and orgasms. Oh, she working hard this time. There's some fat ass eggs. Where they get eggs like that from? Yeah, he getting his ad beat right now. <laughs> yeah, in gear four. This was fucked up. In gear four. Like this is the strongest Luffy is right now. Dave phone fight for nine more hours. <laughs> this one level fight. I know you fought Cracker all night, but with Kata Curry, that's on a different level. Pound, you better get the fuck up out of there, bro. He like him. Damn, he punched him already. That was quick. No backflash or nothing. Just straight get pressure. Other than like, I don't give a fuck about you, stepdad. I want my real dad. This is what I love. Look, I can see it coming before he even said. This is what I love about the Straw Hat crew. Because no matter how the decisions Luffy make, no matter how crazy or how like sound impossible they may be this is all their reactions right here <laughs> he'll lose for the first time because luffy one thing about luffy i don't care how many times you hit this man he gonna get back up no he gonna get back up yeah yeah, what's up? These little cliffhangers hurt, bro. Stop it. What happens in the next episode? I probably... How it's looking, I might not be watching the next episode. I don't know. I might be reacting to it. I don't know. It looks... It looks dope. And then again, you know, it's like... uh, Well, this episode of One Piece was straight to the point, honestly. Fight against Katakuri and Luffy. Luffy had the advantage at first... Until, like I said, Kyokuri gained his composure. He was like, you know what? I'm letting this rookie get the best of me right now. I need to calm down, settle down, and remember why my bounty is one billion. And that's what he did. And he started to overwhelm Luffy again. So, as we can tell, Luffy is still not strong as Kyokuri. And he's, you can tell he's improving, though. He's he's improving as we get go along. He's getting stronger. He's learning Katakuri, Katakuri's weaknesses. So yeah, it's like it's not like he's fighting for no reason. He's getting better as we go along. And cutting to the big like the parts like Sanji, the thing Sanji says like I think almost every Straw Hat has said this at least once in a kind of way like, or at least in some like everybody in Straw Hat's crew believes in luffy no matter what he does even if it's the craziest thing like when he fought crocodile everybody believed that luffy was going to be crocodile when he fought uh luchi rob luchi everybody knew he was going to be rob luchi like they believe in him completely like whenever he says or does something they go along with him when he when he went against the world government in water seven he in, in his lobbies Everybody went along with nobody was like Luffy. Are you crazy? They know like Luffy when he does things he does things. He's crazy, but he does things for a reason Like when he punched the celestial dragon nobody Went against Luffy they knew 
that whatever Luffy is gonna do, he's gonna do it. It's not like you can't make him not do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? If he believes in something, he's gonna stand by it. And that's why Luffy is a great main character. He never he never goes against what he believes in. As you can say, he's just he's he's straight to the point. He's forward about everything. And that's why I love him as a main character. Like he's simple, but also he's very like lovable as a character. But yeah, that's really all that happened in this uh, episode. Like I said, next episode looks kind of shaky. It seems like they're gonna have more of like pudding and baking a cake and and Nami and them going getting the cocoa, cocoa, cocoa island, whatever the fuck that shit called. But yeah, I see they're gonna have parts of Luffy versus Katakuri in it. I don't know if I want to react to it or not. Y'all leave down below. Should I react to the next episode? Because honestly, I don't want to react to somewhere it's just mostly talking. But I will if you know if if need be like you know what I mean because it says Luffy runs out of gear four like his time runs out for gear four in it and if that happens we all know Luffy's in in the shielder right then at that point because gear four is really the only thing that's keeping Luffy above water right now like he's still getting beat up by Katakuri but he's able to go against him a little bit if he runs out of gear four. It's like, yeah, like, <laughs> L. L. Coon is right around the, uh, let me not steal that from, let me not steal that from Heavenly Summer. Heavenly. That's a Heavenly Summer. Heavenly Controller. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for this reaction review, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And as always, Zodak Anime, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs> And it's the right time.